southeast coast is still a daily witness of the German attempts to crush the Royal Air Force. But the fight for the mastery of the skies is still very much on. In these engagements, the barrage balloons fall some of frequent victims. To a good Nazi, it must be just like having a pop at Goering. But an attack like this meets with an instant reply from anti-aircraft guns, while fighters are taking off and gaining height. The battle royal begins, and the Royal Air Force are still shooting them down at the rate of about four to one. While the battle is still raging, Hurricanes and Spitfires return to refuel and reload. And here let's pay a tribute to the ground staff. Their care makes all the difference between success and failure. And the planes too can take it. Ready again, they tear into the battle once more. Boats pick up the crews that bail out. Rescue for British pilots, capture for Germans. Nobody denies that the Raiders have done some damage. But though one house hit in the street makes a nasty mess, it isn't going to win the war for Germany. And if we still look to our blackout, it'll be still more difficult to hit houses. Now, just a few more wrecks of Nazi planes to show that we're keeping up the average. In the first year of this war, British pilots have brought down 1,752 in raids on this country. And these are the men who do it. Fighting alongside British and Empire pilots are those of Poland under Royal Air Force command. He's explaining what he did to a Messerschmitt. It looks practically fatal. 